I was trapped on the grand staircase for an hour. Huh? Revelio. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. done if you'd like to practice a bit more you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse just mind the plants please I need. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. What can I do for you today? What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Revelio.
Mind now, dummy guys. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. A wise decision. Thank you.
You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... <laughs> he was convinced that... <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Ah, oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickel. We will. Where could I have gone? Revelio. If anything happens to him. Aloha, Mora. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped... What the What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It was a thing that people 
Jesus cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Rebellion. Archie Bickle! He would not have done that. And hideout, someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Rebellion. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. should look around. Rebellion. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Revelio. Achi went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Achi. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh. Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find our... Revelio! Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to see them. Expulso! 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 I plan to make quick work of you. Let me enter. This is a bomb! They deserved.
Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Let me <laughs> Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh, oh, you're safe! Mother? Oh, Mother! Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I'm yes! Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion.
There we go. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Unicorn blood will keep you alive, certainly. Revelio. My advice when dealing with untoward matters is in for a canoe. My question is.
Oh, so tired. Did you hear that? Look, Look descend. Oh, 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 Who stole our goblin catch? Oh, 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 but then it was ours. No uh, matter. Patrick, because Tartali! Expelling all the gumption to bring the Sendion! Death from above! You let Laura Treadwell go, didn't you? Now, Now you've gone too far. <laughs> Quite conductive, aren't we? Rick, I got no, it's ah. uh. that all you got? You die for that. Might want to look up. Confringo. Petrific is totally. Expulsion! Ah. Ah. That's just the beginning. Confringo! Oh, Flash of inspiration! Oh. Patrick, because Totale! Oh. You've a little dark magic in you, don't you? Expulsion! Patrick, because Totale!
Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Did you hear that? Ah, how delightful. Ah, oh. ah, no! Oh. Let me go. Confringo! <laughs> Likely we'll need more wood if we're to not freeze. Seems harshness has her mind set to follow us. And be sure to stoke the flame. Rebellion. I seem to recall last time you put the thing out. Confringo! Descendo! Repulsor! Accio! Dependent! Bombarder! Accio! I know, I'm not here. Ah. Uh. Ah, and no one to share in my victory. Revelio! And when did I set my trap? Was it lower or upper Hogsfield? It's no Dallas. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Alohomora. Rebellio. Rebellion. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precisely. 
precise, deliberate movements? Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Before you leave here. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage... Once again, to practice here in the classroom. For your sake, and well, that of everyone else. Defindo! It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Rebellion. Accio! Oh, it's one of Zenobia's gulpstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Lumos!
Revelio. Revelio. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Revelio. Lumos. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. 
In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honour her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Confringer! Only entrance has something to do with dreams. Well, three, something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Repair all. Like a locked door. We may want to look around. The rubble forms a relief to a person facing Signed a snake. by knock to a gaunt. That must be the gaunt. voice I hear. Ominous. Your family was here. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze, Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door became closed. It closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate. Confringo! The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. Rebellion! <laughs> nice work. Confringo! The 
this journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Lumos. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. Revelio is the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Bombarda! Lumos! Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. Spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. The gate! Revelio, I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin Lumos. is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio's etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus Curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. 
He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salvelli's Lidlin Scriptorium. I can't believe we. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Rebellion! What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts Founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. See a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, 
never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Revelio. Revelio. Studying Salazar Slither in Spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones.
Revelio. You'll never Revelli. believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I would agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.
time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Go! Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio! Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. 
Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Yeah. Let's get a better lay of the land. When the clouds are dark is always the best time to strike. It's as if nature herself lends a veil beneath which to orchestrate one's treachery. Perhaps I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Is that you, Roylands? the minister for magic himself. Revelio. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a bar with <laughs> Thank you. 
Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside it. Hello? You will regret coming here. And not taking a one. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her turned up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? They've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora. I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Rebellion. Let's make them count. I'm a bit 
In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. It's time you learned the transformation spell. 
After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral.
My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Dragon from Horntail Hall. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before.
you're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. <laughs> 